What is up guys, Denny here bringing you more Battlefield Hardline content. And today, we're going to be playing some Conquest on Everglades. But instead of using the ARM, or using the helicopter like usual, we're actually going to be using the Professional class. Uh, <clears throat> this first life, we're going to be using the Professional class with the R700 with the 4x ACOG on it. And we're actually going to be playing like a more traditional sniper role. And as the game moves on, uh, it's going to adapt a little bit and we're going to change to the SR25 which is another awesome gun. I really like it. So anyhow, we're going to get really lucky with this guy right here. Uh, probably shouldn't have got that kill, but uh, somehow I did. And I'm up going to find this bush over here that is going to end up being the home for my first 16 kills, which is a kill streak. So we're going to ping that guy who's using the stinger. And we're going to montage into another kill right here, some guy trying to climb the tower. We're going to ping him. And anybody that... Uh, downloaded the update or plays Battlefield Hardline knows that they just increased the ticket size for Conquest. So in order to make this video, uh, you know, relatively watchable in a man, in a good time frame, uh, instead of showing all the time in between my kills, I actually just uh, got to the good parts and those are going to be the, uh, <clears throat> the video for this first part. Um, if you look at the game time, I've already spent five minutes. Uh, laying here, there's a lot of time in between kills, so it's not really worth watching. But anyhow, you're going to tell that I'm in this bush, and I'm getting some kills, but no one really knows where I am. And I attribute to the, that to the fact of the kill cam system on Battlefield, whereas instead of showing like my kill feed whenever I kill the person, it just shows me, but I'm laying in a bush, and this is a big map. I could be anywhere. So I attribute that to why I ended up getting on such a long kill streak like I did. Anyway, we're going to hit this guy right here, and we're ended up, I thought I hit him there, but we ended up getting the assist, which I'm okay with. So uh, we get a perk, and we're going to ping this guy right here. And then we're going to ping this guy right here in the same exact spot. Um, if you notice the kill feed, I end up killing the same guy a bunch of times, and right now we're 16-0. and 0. Um, A lot of what I did here, though, was I was trying to conserve ammo, because I think you only get 40 rounds with this uh, bolt action snipers. So... Uh, I ended up watching just a lot of people running around, uh, just try and save ammo. If I knew I wasn't going to kill them instantly, I didn't really shoot at them. Uh, I think that's why I survived so long here in this spot. Here I go for the driving kill and I miss him barely, but I end up getting another kill <clears throat> right there. And I'm going to watch this guy all the way until he gets on the bike just to make sure he stops still and I'm going to shoot him in the head too. So what happens here, I have one bullet left, I end up running out of ammo. Uh, I found an ammo box laying around, I got some more, but I ended up dying right away. And I had some really rough lives uh, in between then and now. So we're going to skip ahead, and I'm going to start using the SR-25. I'm going to spawn in the middle of the map at B. And I'm trying to fend B. Uh, on this map, B is where everything goes down. Everybody's fighting for B because they want to control the middle of the map. But they also want to control the spawn point where you can spawn into the helicopter. So anyhow, the SR-25 is an awesome gun. I really like it. <clears throat> um, it's definitely not going to help you on close quarters maps, but on maps like Everglades where you can shoot at longer distances, um, you know, it's really good. I think it's a three-shot kill unless you shoot somebody in the head. So I have bronze on it right now. I think I'm pretty close to silver. I'd love to get gold on this gun. It's pretty awesome. Um, but I'd really like to get the weapons license for it so that I can use it on both sides. Uh, I... I have the PTR uh, for the uh, criminal side, but it's not as good. I don't like it as much. So I'd really like to get the weapons license for this gun. So here we're just trying to defend this uh, this point. I put up my laser trip mines. Um, I'm trying to get the kills for that so I can get the 300 knockout, which is a pretty awesome gun. So I'm going to kill this guy, and I'm going to shoot this guy a couple times, but I'm going to end up hitting his shield, so I'm just going to let him go. Um, I'm not going to waste all my ammo on him to give away my position. So I'm looking at the map, there's people running around all over the place down here, and I just got another service star for the SR-25, which is pretty good. That's a really nice point. So we're going to ping this guy, and we're going to continue to kind of hover around in the same area, and eventually somebody's going to kill us right here with the CZ-75. So as you can see right now, guys, I'm 24 and 4. I'm doing really well, uh, especially using the professional kit, which I don't use that much on this game. I used to use the sniper kit a lot on Battlefield 3 um, in Snipe from Distance, but I don't use it as much on this game. It's a lot more close quarters, and uh, I don't like that you can't use the bipod for sniping. 
Um, I guess it's to try and cut down on the amount of people that cut that sit in the back of the map and it's long distance snipe, but uh, that was a really fun thing to do. It was just really fun to be able to, uh, you know, compare your longest headshot kill with all your buddies and whatnot. So anyhow, uh, we can continue, continue sniping here with the SR-25, so it's awesome, really awesome gun. Really working towards getting gold on it. But uh, <clears throat> as you guys have seen in most of my other videos that I've been on Everglades, is I like to sit at B. Uh, like, we all know the helicopter spawns at B. Everybody really likes to try and attack B. It's in the middle of the map, too, so, uh, you know, people are just wandering around. A lot of them are going to wander into B at some point. So, anyhow, our team is going to try and take E, so I'm going to provide a little close sniper support from up on the, uh, the rafter here on B. And, uh, as you can see, this gun, even with the red dot, is still effective at range. Um, you don't really have to worry about the bull drop when dealing with the red dot because, uh, you know, there's no zoom really on it, and uh, a lot of these kills are, you know, within 60, 70 yards. Um, whenever I start shooting at the people farther down in the spawn here, D, uh, you can tell I'm, I'm trying to deal with the bullet drop a little bit, but, uh, you know, that's not really a big deal. Uh, one of the strategies I really like to do with this gun is, uh, you know, a lot of people, since it's semi-automatic, just like to spam the bullets, but uh, it's not really effective, and you waste a lot of ammo, plus you give away your position. Uh, what I really like to do is, you know, take like one one shot here and there just try and get a hit on the on the person and then once I you know lock in the hit get that one hit is whenever I'll really start opening up on them um, you know that first shot really helps you get the distance um, it helps you get the lead if the person's running if you're just blasting rounds off you don't really know uh, you know you don't really know exactly what the distance is that you're shooting uh, as you saw there uh, that guy was a little bit farther away so I took one shot I hit him and then I realized that uh, you know I had the distance right, and then I just shot a couple more times and ended up getting the kill real easy. So uh, a lot of these guys, they're not even making it past uh, the edge of that swamp down there. So I'm, I'm really relatively safe down here. My team is pouring out of B, trying to take B, e, and the game's really wrapping up. Um, you know, it ended up being a closer game than I expected. Uh, I felt like my team dominated most of the game, but uh, <clears throat> overall, this is a really, uh, really solid game. Um, once my team starts to move up more, I'm going to move up a little bit closer. Um, you know, I'm not really catching anybody running away like usual. But, uh, <clears throat> you know, we're going to try and get a couple more kills right before the game ends. They're really running low on tickets. And <clears throat> we're going to shoot this guy. I'm not going to get the kill. What I like to do, too, is people tend to uh, run back out at you after uh, you shoot them. So I'm going to go for the headshot on that guy, and the game's going to end. And I'm going to end up 41 and 8. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please, please, please remember to like this video, but almost also to comment uh, below and to subscribe to this channel. Peace out, guys.